Hi all, Aditya here from JetSoftTech. In this session, we are going to discuss the project number 20 in which we are going to create a smartphone. It's 21 actually. So creation of a smartphone to display list of material. This uh, we had done previously for uh, a project, a cold drinks, uh, a beverage company in uh, US for which we actually uh, had to give the list of all the materials to the security so that they'll allow that only those trucks which has the uh, which have been already printed in the in the list so will be allowed from out gate so while while the trucks are moving out of the gate they just check that uh, forms and then they'll allow them out so this was the requirement that we had so let's go ahead and build a smart form to uh, to uh, to give a printout of all the materials okay Let's start building it. Now we'll we we'll log in into the SAP app. Okay. The transaction code is smartphones SMERTF4MS, and in this we'll have ZJHS underscore MAT555 create. So this is material data, and in this form attributes, we we have uh, we already have this. We have form interfaces, and in the form interfaces, we need to give the table that is the internal table, and we need to give in global definitions. We can pro we can give the work area, but for the before that, we have this main a main window. Uh, in the main window, we have to create the text. So here we have the new page. Right click on this, create window we can create a window and uh, we will be creating the windows for for header logo and footer so we'll create a window for header there is a header in which we have the company heading and all graphic so in the graphic we need to give the file name so the color bitmap image that we had is jh what was the logo that we have recently uploaded triple five, triple five or double five Why no? triple five and this save Now here we have in all these things we need to create the text for the logo it's been done and uh, for all these things we need to have a text uh, in footer we have text we are creating a text and we say Now it's moving out to uh, the second line because we haven't yet, uh, you know, adjusted the lo uh, window window size. So we just need to click on this form painter so that it'll appear here. We just we can just move this here. And this uh, we have all these are packed here. So we just want to move it to a main window will uh, will reduce this footer header so header is here Okay, so now in this save it and uh, 
once this has been done we need to right click on this header and create text save it now once we do that main window in the main window we want to display the data i mean like the internal table work area concept and all so what we need to do is we need to right click on this create a table so we are creating a table because we need a list so the moment i create a table by default uh, we will get header main area and footer header we can have the text main area will have the data and footer will have the you know uh, the sum total and all so i'll i'll just remove this uh, uh, you know uh, form now and in this we have a, a table line so in this in this line type whatever how many number of uh, columns i make i am making this one two three four columns is what i am making in the line type one i'll right click and create another line type and in this i'm creating two two columns okay so two partitions once i do that and save it we need to we need to assign this line type to this particular header main area and footer so right click on the header create table line and in this we need to we need to select the line type we have to assign a line type for this so we have to select the line type one the moment we select the line type one header will have four columns now header will have four columns okay so it will be like this okay now for the main area also we want to have four columns so for that we'll go to the main area right click on this create table create table line and in the table line go for the line type 1 and in the line type 1 the moment we assign the line type 1 four columns are there so footer right click on the footer create table line in this we are setting line type 2 and save so they have the line type 1 and line type 2 and then once it's been saved we need to we need to you know introduce the data into this for this see when we select a table type in the conditions here we need to give the internal table and work area so we have to create the internal table and work area so basically we are we are we are planning to get the data from a table called mara so uh, i mean like uh, this is a storage location or warehouse uh, related uh, data right so we have we have to go for mardi so we, let's go for mardi this is storage location related data so we have material number plant storage location and material status these four things are what we want to plan we want we are planning to you know introduce into our inter, uh, our uh, list that 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 table so we have to first create a structure in sc11 let's sc11 we need to go for the data type and uh, z st mrd click on create and we need to create structure okay so we are creating a structure now in this we will give matnr type matnr wr case underscore d lg what type underscore d and we have pstat pstat underscore d and we are creating a structure 
Now once we are done with the structure, we also have to create a table type. So we'll go come back and uh, we'll create a table type. So for that, zit mrd. We have to select the table type now instead of structure. So in this, we'll give we'll give uh, mrd data. Now here we'll go for zst mrd. Activate. Once it's been done, we have zit mrd. So ZIT MRD is the table type that we have. So we need to go for a smart form now. In the smart form, ZIT MRD into W. Uh, uh, no, first of all, IT MRD is what we need to declare in the form, uh, in the form interface. In the tables, we need to go for IT MRD, or we can say IT underscore MRD. Type, we need to give the table type here. Okay, let me give Mara. It will not accept. Okay, I'll just uh, show you that. If I give Mara here, and if you give the syntax check, it says only table type may be used as the reference for a table parameter. So we need to introduce here table type. So what is the table type that we created? ZIT Mara. Mara or Mardi? ZIT Mardi. ZIT Mardi. This, this would be perfect. Now here in the global definitions, we have w underscore mara type zst mrd uh, uh, here we'll let's make it as mardi okay now here uh, these are the things that we have now we have to go to the table type in the table type we'll go for zit zit did we create ZIT or ZIT underscore Mardi? ZIT underscore Mardi. So let's go for this. So ZIT underscore Mardi into W underscore Mardi. Okay, now here we have to introduce this actually. So internal table and work area. And this ZIT underscore MRD and W underscore MRD is what we have defined here. In the form interfaces, we have defined the table type. IT underscore MRD. And in the global definition, global data, we have W underscore MRD. So this, this should be mapping to the structure. This should copy the properties from the structure. And the internal table should copy the properties from the table type. This is what we have done. Once we have done that, for the cells, for this particular cell, we are creating the text now. What is the text that we have is material number. And the next text that we have is, let's check that particular table. Uh, what we have? Plant. Plant. Next, what we have? Storage location. Ma maintenance status. Okay, so these are the things that we have. So um, now here, these are the text that we have. But here in the main area, we should get the data. For getting the data, right click on this, create text. Okay, but we'll not give text here. We have to give the field names. That field names, if you write, you'll not get the output. For that, what we need to do is we need to click on this field list on off, and in this global data because we have created the we are uh, you know define the work area and the global data open that global data matnr is what i'm dragging and dropping into the first column in this okay first column and in second column right click on this create text in the second column we are dragging and dropping